going to be filming a video on the guinea pig's room and I am just going to give you a little tour because I've decorated it all up to make it look nice and Christmassy so I thought I would just show you everything inside. So because we don't really have that much in here anymore I thought I would just do a cage tour in this video of all the cages because the video would be very short if I didn't do that as everything is stored in the supply shed so there isn't really much in here so I'm just going to be showing you the guinea pigs cages as well. So starting from over here we have this dehumidifier and we've only just got this recently. Basically we've had a really big problem with mould in the guinea pig shed which is really not good at all. It just takes all the water out of the air, puts it in this machine and then there's a tray at the bottom which you just pull out and empty it um, once it's full. So yeah it's been working really well. Now moving on to the girls and Rolo's run and in case you don't know or if you're new to my channel Rolo is a neutered boar so he is safe to live with our three females. So right at the back in this corner we have their hutch and next to the hutch we have just a little log there and they're basically like stepping stones but wooden ones. We got those recently and they're really great, they look really natural, the guinea pigs can chew them and they just work really well for loads of different things. Over in this corner they have their litter tray and I put loads of hay in here because hay is really great especially at this time of year. Guinea pigs need a lot of hay so it's good to have plenty of that and that's just in this really big litter tray. Next to the litter tray we have this log roll and I thought it just kind of made it look a bit more rustic and nice. Right here we have their DIY veggie feeder and I have a video on that, I will link it down in the description if you're interested and I've just got some romaine lettuce in there at the minute. Next to that they have their food bowl and then up here they have their drinking bottle. In the middle of their cage they have this miniature Christmas tree. I put some baubles on it and some fairy lights and I thought this just looked really cute and Christmassy. So yep, I put that there. And then just to stop them from getting to the tree I put some wooden stepping stones underneath there just so they couldn't reach it at all. Next to the Christmas tree they have another one of their veggie feeders and I don't actually leave this in their cage, I've just put it in because I've just given them their veggies so that's why it's in there right now. Next to that they have this tunnel and I put a bend log sticks bridge on top of that. Over in this corner they have their hammock which I made and this was so simple to make. Next to the hammock they have two wooden shells which I really love because they're so natural, the guinea pigs can chew them and they also love to hide under them and they do enjoy jumping up there, especially Millie, she really loves jumping up there and exploring. Next to that they have another wooden bendy log sticks bridge which is kind of just like a tunnel or a ladder because they sometimes use it to go up and down the shell. Over here they have another hammock which I also made, I just folded it into a triangle shape so it would fit nicely in that corner there. And then underneath that they have another wooden stepping stone which just helps them get up and down the hammock. So that's everything in the girls and rollers run. Towards the back I have two metal hooks and I attach these to the grids using some cable ties so there's one there and then there's one over in that corner too. Basically I wanted the fairy lights to be high up so the guinea pigs couldn't chew them or anything. So it starts over here. Here we just have a heater and this works really well, it really does keep the room a lot warmer than it would be without it so it works really well especially overnight as it does get really really cold overnight. Next to the heater we have the area where I sit and watch the guinea pigs so this isn't actually a chair it's actually like um, a wooden storage box. Now I will show you the area where I just store a couple of things. I don't really have much in the way of things to store in here because the majority of my guinea pig supplies are kept in 
the shed next door. But there are a few items which I keep in here and those are just the things that I use on a regular basis. So I will just show you what they are. And first of all we have this bucket which I use as like a bin. Um, inside that we just have their box full of pellets. Next we just have a bag of dried grass and the guinea pigs adore this. It's really good at this time of year because the guinea pigs can't go on the grass so it's a nice treat for them. And then behind that we have a bag of hay. Finally down here I just have a box which is filled with random bits and bobs. So there's blankets, brushes, cleaning gloves, treats and weighing scales because I do weigh my guinea pigs in this um, box so I just keep the weighing scales in there. Up here I have some more fairy lights and these aren't very Christmassy but they go really well with the wallpaper so I just left them up there. Up here we have this tree thing which just kind of wraps around um, that bar up there and I attach some snowflakes to it to make it look even more Christmassy. And up here we just have some icicle lights. Now moving on to the boys runs and we have four guinea pigs in this whole area but they're actually split into three cages so there's Teddy and Badger in this run which is a 4 by 3 and then there's Pudsey and Brownlee in um, these two runs but them two are separated guinea pigs so they don't live together and they each live in a 2 by 3 and it works really well having a split cage especially if you have lone males it just gives them interaction which they really need and it's really great for them so first I will give you a tour of Teddy and Badger's run and to be honest there's not really that much that's particularly interesting in here but I thought I would show you anyway so down here we have their water bottle and then we have their food bowls which are full of wood shavings because they just run around and it all gets flipped in there so yeah, there's not much I can do about that. Hello Badger! Hello! There's Teddy. <laughs> so here we have another wooden stepping stone. Next we have their wooden house and this has three entrances which is really great because Males can sometimes fight, so if they need to escape from each other quickly, that's a really good way of doing it, and they can just quickly dash out if they need to. So I like houses which have multiple entrances and exits. Hello Teddy. I think he's eating Pudsey's hay, even though he's got like a hay rack full of it, he's still eating Pudsey's hay through there. Over there we have this tunnel which my mum made, and they're so simple to do, you basically just get two bits of wood and screw them together and there you go, you have a guinea pig tunnel. Up here is their hay rack and to make this I just bent a grid and then cable tied it to the other grids. It was really simple to do and I've actually seen Badger jump in it a few times. Now I'm going to be giving you a tour of Pudsey's and Bramley's run and they are separated males so they don't live in the same cage but they do have really similar runs at the moment so I thought I would just kind of give you a tour of both their cages together. Over here they have their hay racks and they're directly next to each other. They do like to sleep under these, I think they feel quite safe under them. Next we just have their wooden bendy log sticks bridges and to be honest they don't really use them, they just kind of walk through them occasionally but they barely ever use them. So. It's just there in case they need somewhere to dash into if they feel a bit threatened or just a bit scared so that's just a, an area where they can feel more secure. And then they have their food bowls. Finally we have the boys bottles and I just back to back these with the little boys ones and it works really well because they come up to each other more and interact more, which is why I did it. And then it's the same over there with Bramley's bottle. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye!